know that moment where you're like, why? I don't want to be pregnant. Like, ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be me explaining how my first trimester went and my experience with this pregnancy. This is my second pregnancy and um, there is some differences between my first pregnancy and this one. A lot was different with this pregnancy actually with my first trimester. So if you're new to my channel, definitely stick around, hit that subscribe button, and let's just get into it. First, I'd like to say before I start that my husband and my son are both out in the garage, which is through the store here, and they are sanding down a dining room table that they are repurposing together. It's kind of cute, actually. So if you hear a lot of that noise, that's them out there and talking and whatnot. So let's just try to ignore them. This was the only room that I could find light in today because it is super dark and dreary out. It is raining. Um, it's been raining all day long. There's no sun. So, okay, so let's get into it. Um, where do you even begin? Let me get my notes. We were not expecting this baby. So it was a huge surprise to me. It was definitely a huge surprise to my husband, but we were not trying for this baby. Like, But for instance, my son, we tried for him. We actually made a plan, you know, when are we gonna start trying to have this baby? You know, every time we ovulated, we made sure that we were prepared, you know, we did the whole thing. Um, and it took us a few months to actually get pregnant with my son. With this pregnancy, like I said, we, um, we were not trying, um, it was a complete surprise to us. So when I was pregnant, I had no idea that I was actually pregnant. So I wasn't taking any precautions with my diet or my exercise. Um, I was actually exercising more than I have exercised probably in my life. I was weight training, I was running 5Ks. I actually, side story, I actually, was out running with my dog when we were home for Christmas break at my mother's house and I went for a run with my dog. I fell very, very hard, very hard, like to the point where I hurt myself so bad that I couldn't get out of the road. Like I, I was running and I tripped over what seemed like a root, a tree root that had grown underneath the road. Um, there's no sidewalks around my mom's neighborhood. so. I was just running on the road and I tripped right over that and I like flew <laughs> like horizontally like flying through the air and landed on my side and my stomach actually lid on the asphalt. It was extremely painful. I was very bloody and bruised up and beat up and I actually laid there because I was in so much pain that I couldn't even move or get up. So anyway, um, I was laying there. This woman actually was driving by thankfully and she pulled over and stopped and she saw me and she got out and she was like are you okay and luckily my dog was like staying with me because she doesn't run off and she was like can I help you can I help you get up and I was like you know like I couldn't even speak to her I was in so much pain and then finally I just sat up on my own and um I slowly got up and I said no I need to walk because I'm only a block from my mom's house like I could see my mother's house that's how close I was I was almost there when I was running my hardest you know at the end of a run when you try to sprint it out that's what I was doing and so anyway um not knowing all the while that I was pregnant so I ended up walking back home I was fine I hadn't broken any bones or anything I just was really beat up like I was bleeding all over I was wearing a sweater and a coat and I was bleeding through both so anyway long story short I had actually fallen very um, aggressively while being pregnant and not knowing thankfully it was so early on that I don't think it I don't think it has had any effect on the baby. I did let my doctor know, obviously, and you know, he said, you know, we'll just keep an eye on things. You know, when you're not expecting a baby and you don't think about, oh, I need to go get checked because I just fell and I, you know, could possibly have a miscarriage or damage something. I had no idea I was even pregnant, so I didn't even go and get checked out. I just didn't even know I was pregnant. Later that weekend, actually, I had couple glasses of wine, you know, some shots of alcohol, beer. I was at Christmas parties, hanging with friends. 
things like that. And so I also drank while I was pregnant, didn't even know it, but it was in the early stages of my pregnancy and had no idea. And I know a lot of people can relate to this and I know others who have gotten pregnant um, spontaneously or unexpectedly didn't know they were pregnant and had drank. So I'm not too concerned with that. I know that, you know, I'm sure the baby is fine, but just wanted to mention that that happened in my first trimester without even knowing. So like I said, I found out I was pregnant because I actually missed my period. Shortly after finding out, um, I think it was like two weeks later, I was getting severely sick. Like morning sickness hit me hard. And actually with my first pregnancy, I didn't have this bad of morning sickness. So with my first pregnancy, I remember feeling sick throughout the day, like small pockets of nausea was like would come and go, but I would never really throw up unless I was like, I was car sick, like in the car, I, or if I'd eaten way too much, I'd throw up. But I didn't really ever feel like the burst of nausea right in the morning and then literally get sick or just have breakfast and get sick. But with this pregnancy, I did. <laughs> And it was horrible. Every morning, every morning, I would wake up, get sick, feel nauseous, eat some breakfast, get sick, feel nauseous. Just the constant, like I was just constantly feeling nauseous, constantly throwing up, getting sick. It was just horrible. So it was completely different than my first pregnancy. A couple weeks after that, I, actually felt flu-like symptoms and I thought this is the worst pregnancy I think I've ever had you know my last pregnancy seemed like a breeze after this you know after going through this but I was getting um chills I had a low grade fever I had clammy hands and feet um I was like kind of sweaty but also cold um and I was feeling really really sick and so I started looking up like what these symptoms were and that also I'm pregnant and found out that I could have possibly had a UTI. So I told my husband, you know, hey, look, I'm severely sick. Like this isn't normal pregnancy morning sickness to me. Like I am literally aching. My body aches. I'm having chills. I have a low grade fever. Like something's not right. I need to do something. And so I told him, you know, hey, there's a website that's saying I might have a UTI and I've always been prone to UTIs my whole life growing up. He read that he could get one from like a drugstore. So he ran to Walgreens, picked one up for me and actually I took it and found out I had a UTI. Um, so called the doctor, went to the doctor the next day, um, took a urine sample, whatever, found out, yes, I do. They confirmed I do have a UTI. So that on top of having morning sickness, was miserable. After seven days of taking this antibiotic for this UTI, I had worse symptoms, like horrible pains um, in my abdomen, um, in my lower back, like where my kidneys were. I literally thought like, okay, now it's reached my kidneys. I am, I have a severe bladder infection, like something's going on. So I went back to the doctor, took another urine sample, and they found out that I still had a UTI and that the first, seven days of antibiotics actually didn't do anything. So they put me on a whole nother antibiotic and for another seven days and that one actually cleared it. So for two straight weeks, I had a UTI, which was terrible having that along with being pregnant. So along with morning sickness and all those other things, like I was so, I was so dramatic, but like crying to my husband, like, I don't, I don't wanna be, like, you know, that moment where you're like, why? I don't want to be pregnant. Like, oh, this sucks. this sucks. Like, take this baby out of me. Like, I was just like so dramatic because I was feeling so bad. And now that that's all over, it's kind of funny to look back at and be like, you know, it was just a UTI. Like, come on, girl. But honestly, like during that time, I was just in so much pain and I was just so already sick that it was just awful. So being pregnant, first trimester, UTIs, very prone, those things happen. I did not have that happen with my first pregnancy. Another thing that I wanna mention during my first trimester that I didn't have with my last pregnancy was acne. I suffered with really, really bad acne this pregnancy during my whole first trimester. 
Um, basically, I had maybe like six or seven blemishes at a time. When one would clear up, another one would show up the next day. It was just constant. I was constantly just breaking out all over. My hair, <laughs> my hair looks bad right now. Like, you know, this is quarantine hair, so don't judge. But my hair during my first trimester was just really like, I would take a shower and the next day just grease. Like just my whole head was just full of grease. Like no matter what I did, my hair just seemed like it was just flat and greasy and dull, like just lifeless. So I don't know what that was about. My skin just felt really like, you know, like I said, just like greasy and just oily and my hair was just greasy and oily. It just felt like a big grease ball on top of being sick and throwing up, which was not fun. Like when you, you're already not feeling good, but then you don't feel pretty, <laughs> like, come on. Another thing that I noticed, and I don't know if this has to do with just like my prenatal vitamins, but my nails were growing so, so fast. They still are, they grow like crazy. Um, and this happened with my first pregnancy. I remember, honestly, I remember getting the glow. Like I remember with my son, I felt beautiful. I felt, even though I was gaining weight, I still felt beautiful. Like my skin was, you know, clear, my hair was long and just like felt real beautiful and like, you know, had a lot of bounce and volume and shiny. I just felt really pretty my first pregnancy and this one, my first trimester, I just felt like super like ugly duckling, like just <laughs> no one look at me. The glow was not there. <laughs> On top of all of that, feeling sick and whatnot, I actually was having the biggest cravings for just the worst food. And like I said, or like I mentioned before, I had lost 55 pounds before getting pregnant. So I was eating very clean, I was eating healthy. Um, I honestly wasn't ever thinking or craving about fast food, um, takeout, just anything bad for me, candy, things like that. And after getting pregnant, it was like just, everything just switched. And all of a sudden I was like, I want pizza. I want Chinese food. I want this, I want that, I want McDonald's. I wanted everything that I hadn't wanted for months. And my husband was like, are you sure you really want that? Like you haven't been eating that in a really long time. Are you sure that's what you want? I'll go get it for you, but are you sure? And I was like, get me the food. Like I was feeling so miserable and sick and that's, I did not care. I just wanted to feel better. I wanted that comfort. I wanted that comfort food. So yeah, for the first couple of months I was eating horribly. Um, I also was craving uh, sour straws and uh, salt and vinegar chips. And what else was I craving? Just like really weird things. Oh, things I hadn't eaten in years. I haven't eaten boxed mac and cheese, like the Kraft boxed mac and cheese in years. And I was craving that, like that's all I wanted. So he went out, went out and bought those, they're very cheap. You know, he bought it like a couple at a time and I would eat a whole box by myself. Like that's how crazy I was. I'm glad that period of my life is over now. Like I'm in my second trimester and I'm finally feeling like normal, but that was just like, who was I? I don't know, I don't know who I was. Okay, so obviously in your first trimester you have weight gain. Um, actually a lot of women who suffer from um, severe nausea and morning sickness, they lose weight. However, like I said, I was eating like the worst food ever. So I wasn't losing any weight, I was actually gaining weight. So my first trim trimester, I actually gained about 10 or 15 pounds. Um, and <clears throat> you know, that happens. Um, but along with that, I also had migraines. Um, I haven't had any uh, in a couple weeks now, but I was having severe migraines and I'm prone to migraines as well. Um, I have aura ones where they actually affect my vision and that has happened since middle school, but they were coming in clusters. So I would have one one day and then I would have it another day and then the next day and the next day. So I had like four days in a row where I would have a migraine. And it was getting pretty serious to the point where I told my doctor. Um, I had some weird, uh, I don't know if you would, I mean, my doctor considered them stroke-like symptoms, but 
Um, I had some tingling happening in my fingers where my actual whole entire hand, my left hand went numb along with the tip of my nose and the top of my lip. So that was very concerning. Obviously I told my doctor and he was like, okay, we're getting you on some baby aspirin. We're going to start that. I want you to get in with a neurologist and things like that. So that was very concerning. Um, things have definitely cleared up and been better since, but that actually did happen during my first trimester. The last thing I wanna talk about with my first trimester is belly pains. So I was having some brown ligament issues and I didn't have this pain with my first pregnancy, but with this one, I don't know if it's just me growing faster or things being a little bit like more stretched out in there. So like the, I know there's a hormone called relaxin and I think that that has a lot to do with it too, but I ended up getting myself a belly band, a belly support band that I've been wearing whenever I'm doing dishes, when I'm like walking around a lot, working out, um, sometimes sleeping, I'll wear it and that has helped a lot. But um, yeah, so I think a lot has to do with the fact that I was constantly flexing my abs without knowing. Like when you're standing and walking, like you automatically tense your abs and I think I was doing that without knowing. And so it was actually making it harder for me in the evening because that's when I was like having a lot of pain. Um, my stomach would be like really painful. And I think it was because the whole entire day I was actually trying to use my abs to hold up my belly. So I don't know if that's it or what. But comment about uh, if you've had a pregnancy or you've had a couple of pregnancies. Um, leave comments down about your first trimester and how your experience went. Was it easy? Was it, you know, did you go with the flow? Were things just wonderful and beautiful and you were glowing and happy and just, you know, just having the time of your life being pregnant? Or was it like me <laughs> where things were a little bit different and difficult? And um, now that it's my second trimester, I'm feeling like, yes, I'm over the hump of being sick. So um, I hope this video didn't come off negative. I wasn't trying to say that your first trimester will always be, you know, super difficult or you'll be sick or you might have issues or problems. That was not my intention. I just wanted to update you guys on my pregnancy since you didn't see any of my first trimester. And I just wanted to let you guys know how my experience went with that. and how um, different it actually was from my first pregnancy. Um, so that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.